So this is week two. What I got here is um, the footage. Is, it's half res uh, did a nuke. But uh, what I got so far is the vehicle comped into the shot. Um, but once I get everything done, I'm probably going to go ahead and revisit the uh, actual animation of the vehicle. Uh, just because I'm noticing some tendencies of it to... Uh, once it gets to the right side, it just, it just goes straight. It goes straight across the red line. Uh, right as it gets about here. Yeah, it just goes straight through. Um, I'm going to try and match the animation as close as possible as I can with the uh, the uh, the Corvette that's in front of it. Um, but then also, like, once it goes across into the side, like, my car, it, it looks like it's uh, it's sliding a little bit. Like, right right here, yeah, it looks like it's sliding. Um, I was able to uh, help with the, uh, the ground, and uh, the ground actually bulges up right where it does in the footage. So that actually really helps, uh, I guess, integrate the car, uh, because... When I was first animating the vehicle, it just looked like it was just zooming straight across, and like almost like a sh like it wasn't it wasn't natural. Like the uh, the scale of the vehicle would stay constant or stay consistent when the scale of the Corvette actually like well not the scale of the Corvette but the Corvette like moves up and down uh, versus my Lamborghini which just went straight across. Um, so that's one thing that I have to visit. But so yeah, we got all the layers right here. I'm not using a mouse right now, so it's a little bit uh, fidgety. But actually, I started a roto. Um, very, just a test roto. Honestly, like, I really didn't even, um, like, it maybe took me 30 minutes, not even, to roto this. And I haven't even finished, uh, but I'm going to go across right here where the cursor is. I'm going to kiss this little blue guy up here. Um, and also hit up going across to the side. And probably keep like the porter potty and uh, I think this is like a little stand back here yeah like a little shed I'm gonna keep that shed back there um, keep all this keep, even keep the mountain that's right here um, that'll probably that'll probably fit quite nice um, but pretty much even up into here uh, there's I might do some color grading with the grass uh, but I'm, pr I'm gonna have to write out the uh, the Corvette that's right here so I may not I may not even focus on the uh, the beginning part of the shot at all um, I could add some stuff on the ground if I if I have time, which I, at this at this rate I should have plenty of time. Right, let's just play it through to get the load. See, okay, see, so even like right here, I'll get the, You can see how the uh... actually I don't. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can see right right around here because those those tires in the background are um, in my image that I, I have a card that I'm using. Nope, those are trackers. But let's uh, let's see. This should be right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like this is literally what I was doing. Um, uh, just to test out cards and uh, just to try and see if it uh, really really fit in the track, and if the track was actually solid, which turns out it was, so uh, that was a plus, uh, definitely. Um, but literally, like, this, this, like, this image that I found, like, I was having a real hard time finding images, like, what would really, like, fit the comp, like, what would, what would work for me? Obviously, the saturation is just, like, it's super saturated versus the footage that I actually have, and that's just the thing, like, uh, at the very last step, I'm probably going to saturate the overall footage and give it a little bit more life because it's very, very dull. Um, but yeah, you know, this is what I got so far. And the reason why it moves like uh, right over here, it's it's the roto. It's it's not the um, it's not the track. Once I fix the roto a little bit more, and I think it, it moves back here a little bit, but I don't think that's that's not something you actually notice. I might just have to fix a couple frames for that, but yeah, you, you don't even notice that back there. It's just prominently in the, the foreground, well, foreground, midground, really, the tires here. Um, but yeah, there's, I have a couple ideas what I can do with the shot. Um, I have a lot of time. I'm just, I'm a little bit wary on uh, if I should actually do it or not, um, just because I've already done so much. Well, not so much, but um, it's just like the type of uh, shot that I'm using. Which is a, a tripod shot. Um, but yes, yeah, so, you know any any feedback, any uh, critiques besides this right here? Don't don't look don't look at this part of the screen. <laughs> uh, 
All right, thank you. Week two.